Hey guys, welcome to WPF Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about stack panels in WPF. So stack panels are a type of layout container that you can use to organize and position elements in XAML. Their name basically says it all. Any element that goes into the stack panel gets stacked on the other elements in that panel. So to illustrate the stack panel, I've laid out a questionnaire in the XAML. It's basically asking, what's your favorite programming language? C, C++, C Sharp, VB.net, or Java? And there are two buttons at the bottom to vote and show results. So let's look real quick in the XAML view and see how I have everything laid out with the stack panel in my window. So you can see here there's one main stack panel that has a text block with the title of the questionnaire, five radio buttons, and another stack panel that contains the two buttons with an orientation of horizontal. This is what allows the elements in the stack panel to lay down next to each other instead of on top of each other. Now for those of you out there who are curious about dynamically creating a stack panel in code, I went ahead and created the questionnaire and the code behind as well. So let me comment out this stack panel and I'm going to uncomment the code behind. And then we're going to run it, and here is the equivalent layout created via code behind. So let's look a little bit closer at what's going on in this code behind. I'm creating a new stack panel, and then taking each element that I want in the stack panel and adding it to the children UI element collection of the stack panel. So we're adding the text block, the radio buttons, and then we're also creating a new stack panel setting the orientation and the alignment, adding the two buttons, adding the button to the stack panel, and then adding that stack panel as a child to the window that we're in. So here you can see that the code isn't nearly as clean as the XAML, but the stack panel can be generated with code if necessary. So today we learned about the stack panel layout container, and I also showed you how to create the equivalent view using code behind. Alright, that's all I've got for today. I appreciate your feedback and suggestions. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.